A new report says the Northern Territory intervention might have inadvertently led to a rise in a potentially deadly disease. Meliodosis is caused by a soil-borne bacteria that enters open wounds and attacks the immune system. There's been a sharp increase in cases over the past few years and while unusually high rainfall is the main factor, government policies are also in the spotlight. It's commonly known as a disease you get in the garden, but meliodosis is now having a big impact on Darwin's homeless population. During our wet season, people can get infected when they come into contact with, this, with these bacteria. The bacteria is found in tropical soils. During heavy rains, it rises to the surface, infecting people through cuts on feet and hands. Open up. For the past 20 years, there have been about 27 meliodosis cases a year. That suddenly shot up to 91 cases two years ago, including 11 deaths. The, the most important factor is the unprecedented rainfall that occurred in the Darwin region in particular. But he says there could be another factor, the rollout of the Northern Territory intervention in 2007. A dramatic increase and influx in the number of people who came to Darwin since the onset of the federal intervention. Some have been heavy drinkers who've moved away from their dry communities. I just came here for a drink and I slept the same way at long grass, me and my wife. It's a potentially deadly cocktail. If your blood alcohol level is high, it, uh, that alcohol literally paralyses the immune system. The research shows the proportion of Aboriginal people with meliodosis in Darwin has jumped from the long-term average of 38% to 53% and that four out of the five Aboriginal people who died from the disease two years ago were homeless alcoholics previously from remote areas. They have the risk factor, at least uh, some of the homeless people, of high alcohol levels and also some of them may be diabetic and they're also exposed substantially to the environment. The federal government disputes the link between the intervention and the rise in meliodosis. But with the number of cases already hitting 80 this year, it seems infections are likely to stay high for some time. Jano Gibson, ABC News, Darwin.